all right everybody so today's video we're gonna be doing on this uh, country coach 530 intrigue we're gonna be talking about is the Intellitech lighting now Intellitech lighting got used I want to say first year was 07 it would have been 07 in magnas and intrigues allures would have been 06 and then we even had it in the inspire and the tribute but today mainly we're going to talk about the most common system that was used which would have been the intrigue magnet and affinity so let's step inside of this beautiful country coach so we made it inside here this is going to be the jubilee floor plan as you saw in that uh, seat there was a new dash radio we're going to get installed tomorrow but today i've come in and I've done an install of some LED rope lighting here in the galley. So while I was doing that, I actually wired it into the Intellitech lighting system. So I've got this box here, and then this box here. Now these are what you use to find an address. So this particular coach had an output module back here in the back. On the left hand side under the sink that's going to do everything in this room and it had a couple spares in there so i threw a fuse in one of the spares and it came in here and found that that was the b address started smashing buttons so when i hit the b3 you'll see here that those lights turn on and off so that means that's the address for that particular output on the module now b1 and 2 are used you can hit the buttons there now when I hit the buttons you'll actually see this row here turn on and off and that's that B3 these are the two tools that we used in the factory to be able to troubleshoot the system so that's why I've got them I actually have another set of them I've been known to rent them out to people with a, a substantial deposit so they can actually work on this lighting system and make it a little easier for them I've got the computer here the old uh, latitude Dell that I actually have the serial programmer for the Intellitech lighting also. So this label was blank. So I've come in and added B3 is the address and then the backlight is B3 also. So now when you turn on and off on this keypad, it doesn't. Now it says rope light because I had a bunch of the uh, factory labels like you can see here. This label actually had rope light on the bottom of it and I just cut it off and then I put a seam right here, and then I put the other one into there. Now on this other side, you'll see we've got rope light, which is gonna do the curio cabinet. And then I've added another rope light here, which is gonna do under there. Now those just turn on and off with the keypad, but if you wanna dim them, I've actually installed here in the corner, this rheostat right here, so you can actually turn them up and down and set the dimness that you want. So that way at night, you can have it kind of kicked back. And then during the day, you could have it ripping. Or you just find that point that you like it all the time. And then you just turn it off with the AL Intellitech keypad. Um, if you have a case where all of a sudden the lights start flickering and all the keypads are out, that means that one of the keypads or modules has went bad. And you gotta find which one it is. I had a customer just last week where all the living room and the um, galley, they would reached out to me through email, was just continuously cycling and we troubleshot it and it was actually the output module in the closet needed to be replaced. And then once that was replaced, everything was good. The first thing you always want to do though, is turn off your trusty house disconnect there at the entry door, leave it off for about a minute, turn it on and see if that just reboots the lights. I did have a case on an intrigue one time where a guy had gotten some mice in his coach and use steel wool to fill the holes, which is not a good call. The mice go to that steel wool, and then they started chewing on wires, and that steel wool had shorted out and almost caught the fire guys coach on fire. So if you do stuff steel wool in those holes, you need to actually put some expanding foam in there also, so that way the steel wool quits moving around in case they start to chew on the wires. But we'll go through real quick here module locations on country coach they'll be in each slide room there'll be one in this room there'll be one for this room 
and then you'll have one in the back that's going to do the back slide rooms and then one in the closet and a few others scattered throughout. Now the system's exactly the same as it would be on the Highline Monaco's and everything else that was built in Kohlberg with the Intellitech lighting. The only difference is, is Monaco had their own keypads made, so they looked a little different. That was the only difference. And then Monaco put all the modules for the output in the closet. Country Coach spread them out so that way we could save weight on the coach. I'm going to put this system in my coach so you kind of see the installation in a future video. But I just kind of wanted to cover that today. So we've come in and got that trick. Mood lighting there. Got it kind of turned down now, but I can crank it up if I want with that rheostat. And then we've programmed it into the keypads. Now this empty one right here, if you wanted another location, say you wanted it to be the passenger soffit, you just use the passenger soffit label and find out the address and the backlighting, and then you can program it into that keypad. So it's a pretty trick system. I like it a lot just because I like the way that you can have keypads spread out throughout the coach with the same address and whatnot like we have here where we have rope lights on both sides. So that way, depending on where you are in the coach, I'm gonna do it in mine also, because I like the all off button. It's a nice function. And then just all the other stuff. This one has the TV lift, so we've even incorporated that into the keypad. So when you hit lift, it's gonna take that TV up and it's gonna take that TV down. So comment below if you wanna see a video on that Pioneer, that's gonna be a little different because that's a single din. And then this is a double den hole. So we'll actually put a small pocket probably across the bottom and then we'll mount the radio across the top. I'm gonna show you probably when I do that, I'll show you the Kenwood at the same time and maybe give you some ideas between A and B. Uh, the Kenwood's just a lot more expensive. Not a lot more, just more expensive and has a knob and a little bigger display. A, B, whatever you like, so your cup of tea in this one. We've went with the Pioneer, but. All right, everybody, just another quick little video here. We'll call this one Intellitech Tech Tuesday. And everybody, I hope you're all having a great day. Till next time, don't forget to hit that subscribe and likes, and then comment below what you think of the videos and how they're coming out. I like the comments that you like them keep a little bit shorter. So we're gonna try to keep all these kind of tech videos and updates on my coach in the 10 minute or less range. And then when we do complete walkthroughs, I've got two coaches coming up for walkthroughs that will drop on probably Friday and Saturday. So if you want to see some tours and some cool coaches, that coach that I did do the remodel tour, sadly enough, is actually for sale. We got all the remodel done and family situations. He's not going to be able to keep the coach. So that's actually going to be listed here pretty soon. We'll get you a video of that coach too. But if that was a 40 foot 06 Magna that we did that complete remodel on. So uh, hit me up or watch the web page. You can always get a hold of me at brianmoto773 at gmail. And I'll try to get back to you, especially on those tech support ones. If you've got a vehicle system down or something like that, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. But all right. Sorry about the long out outro. But thanks again, everyone. Hope you're all having a great day. Till next time. Bye-bye.